Let me start by asking you about your reading of the current situation in Afghanistan. There have been lots of reports about the Baradar faction and the Haqqani faction being at loggerheads. How are you working towards recalibrating India's relationship with the new Afghanistan in light of the reality of the Taliban takeover in Kabul? Dr. Jay Shankar. Yes, yes. Um, uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Rahul. It's good to be with all of you today. Uh, look, the situation in Afghanistan is still unfolding. There is still a lot of lack of clarity. I mean, obviously, some of the more visible changes are, are apparent. So uh, you have to make your, take your positions, make your decisions on the basis of what you have. Now, the general sense in the international community is that uh, there are some basic expectations which the world has of Afghanistan. Uh, the most basic of them is actually the fact that Afghan soil will not be used for terrorism uh, against other countries. Uh, uh, there are uh, also expectations about the nature of the government, that it would be uh, inclusive in some form. Uh, that, uh, you know, uh, there, there's, uh, there's a view about uh, what are considered uh, governance standards in this day and age. Uh, so, uh, question of, uh, uh, you know, how you deal with uh, minorities, with women, with children, uh, how you deal with uh, people who want to leave your, you know, go out of your country or come into your country, I mean, legitimate moment. So, I think these are all uh, live issues and uh, um, we are obviously quite involved in uh, shaping the uh, thinking of the international community on that. Uh, partly because we also happen to be at this time a UN Security Council member. Many of these debates are taking place there. Some of them are taking place in the G20 format. We had a foreign minister's meeting of the G20. Uh, so I think it's, so, you know, it's evolving. We are making it up, obviously responding to the situation uh, as, as you uh, go along, but uh, uh, beyond that, it's hard to take a very definitive uh, position because the situation on the ground doesn't allow for it. Minister, sir, just a question on the engagement. We know that when the Taliban took over Kabul, there was the first engagement between our ambassador in Doha, Deepak Mittal, and Stanak Zai. And since then, we've not really seen real engagement. So are we going to adopt a wait and watch policy? Because it seems like the Haqqanis have set the tone and tenor when it comes to ties with uh, India or the Indian administration. Anas Haqqani's tweet, in many ways than one, really sets the tone over there when he speaks of Somnath Temple taking pride in smashing the idol of Somnath. Look, uh, we are in different businesses, OK? You are in the news business. I'm in the diplomacy business. By nature, uh, I would be uh, more empirical, would be more, uh, I'd be more uh, careful about my judgment. I mean, by, by the nature of our business, okay, uh, as opposed to yours. Uh, so uh, I am not sure I would completely agree with some of the things you say. You know, if this person has taken charge and, I mean, fine, I mean, people may take positions, people may tweet. Uh, we can speculate, that is our right. Uh, uh, but uh, I think when it comes to policy making, uh, I would do kind of double, triple, quadruple diligence, uh, be very, very deliberative about my judgments. I have, you know, there's no great compulsion on me to take very sharp, definitive positions and be public about it. Uh, so, so there could be things happening which, you know, um, I may not be able to speak about. But at the moment, as I said, uh, I mean, as you said, actually, uh, our primary contact has been in Doha, uh, and that's where it is.